I cannot copy ZIM files on my hard drive or SD card. Storage is often formatted using the FAT32 file system, which cannot um, store files bigger than uh, four gigabytes. So we would therefore recommend using XFAT or NFTS, which can do with large files and are often broadly supported. So we advise that you use storage devices that have um, um, larger um, storage sizes. How do I store large file size? And this is one, one of the questions that often comes when um, you are training for Kiwix. The question is always, where do I, or how do I store these large files? So in some languages, Wikipedia in particular can be uh, very large. It has more than 6 million of articles after all. So you realize that depending on the uh, quantum of information you need, the larger the size, which we have to also take into cognizance. So in the English language, it has 6 million articles. And some of these articles come with media attachment and then once there is um files media files attached to it it therefore means that it's going to increase the storage size so if you have if you are on a phone you should consider hosting your zim files onto an external micro sd card so if you want to use the uh, kwix and then have access to some of these contents it's advisable to get an external micro SD, or you download a version that is usually without images, right? And that's the NOPIC, which is 60% smaller. So if ordinarily the entire Wikipedia would be about 80 gig, this is just an example. If it's going to be about 80 gig, um, without images, it is going to be 60% smaller. So you can have the content without images and that is the NOPIC. Or you can also have the limited to the um, introduction and info box on each article. So in this instance, you only have um, um, the info box of each article, which is also about 95% smaller. So depending on your storage size, you may go in for a particular um, far size. Then also there are thematic content. So there is also mathematics, there is history, geography, biology, physics, chemistry, and all that. So depending on the scope and then depending on what information you need, you can decide to select some of these ones. But when we were doing the KWX for schools, because we were focusing on senior high schools we were able to download or get content that relates to their subject of study so for example um, science has physics chemistry elective math so math in general and then biology and for the arts students there was french there was um french and geography and economics so depending on that as well, you can decide to select and then choose which one best fit. Can I only download parts that have changed since I last downloaded Wikipedia? So there are incremental updates are not available yet. But um, again, Kerex is looking at how these updates can be affected on the various ones. So as of when you download the file, you'd only have information as of when you downloaded it. So when there are regular updates, unfortunately, you cannot have those updates. Again, 
the team of working the team is working around to look at how possible best they can work on that and then this is a very complex project and then we need all hands on deck to make it happen So what do Mini, Nopic, and Magzi mean in Wikipedia ZIM files? So the file size is always an issue when downloading such big content. So we always produce each Wikipedia file in three flavors, all right? So there is the Mini, there is a Nopic, and then there is a Magzi. In the previous slide, I made mention of the Nopic. Can you recall? Just a few seconds. So in the mini storage or in the mini ZIM file, you have only the introduction of each article plus the info box. And then this saves about 90% of space versus the full version. So if you are going to compare the full version to the mini version, it is going to be 95% less. Lesser. Less. No pick. So with a NOPIC, you have full articles, but without images. So no pick, no pick, no pick. And about 75% smaller than the full version. So if you are going to compare the no pick to the actual content, it is also going to be 70% 70, 70 smaller. Now dealing with older computers older computers so in case regular desktop kwix does not work on your computer usually because it's an older windows or 32-bit processor so some of the computers are very old and uh, it becomes very difficult running kwix on this however it is not the end of the game with older Windows or 32-bit processor, you can either use a browser extension or an electronic app. So there is always a way to still access content. Now the caveat enter. Because the tech is slightly different, some Zim files might not work properly. For instance, YouTube videos will lack sound that I think and Wikipedia should be okay as it is our benchmark. So the focus of some of the content that we are talking about, in fact, the, 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 the ideal of KWX is to have access to text and uh, media as well. But then this focuses more on content, particularly having Wikipedia or access to Wikipedia. And so this is usually not the case where in some instances videos do not play. So in one of the schools that we visited, one of the things that we did was we even went ahead to give them TED Talks or TED, some TED Talk videos, selected TED Talk videos to enable them to learn and have um, access to uh, this information. So it shouldn't really be a worry when dealing with uh, older computers and some content. So I have a 32-bit computer, Windows XP or Vista, and can't run KWX 2.0 nor read the newer Zen files. What can I do? So recently, there's also um, this that has been released, which is uh, KIW, which is KWX JS for 32-bit Windows. So this will also be made available to people who are using 32-bit um, computer or more like the older version as well. So there is always a, there is always room for people to be able to use KWX without any limitation. So this link would also be made available in text so that um, participants can have access to it. And then in the event where they meet some of these challenges, they can as well have access to this. Thank you.